Yeah, we'll do that like straight away. Beautiful, beautiful. Out of fuel range. Damn, we gotta stop at Olympus. Hmm. This is the first time I see that we can't be enough. Wait, Todd Howard's vacation home. All right, let's go to Voli. They're like, please hold your speed. Boost. Let's go to map. Let's go into Neon. I've been wanting to go to Neon since literally the the game was announced. <laughs> well, since they showed the trailer for the game. Look at that. That's interesting. It's like a floating city. Reminds me of the one in um, Outer Worlds. Like, I think it was the, um, Welcome to Neon. This is different. It's change of, it's change of scenery, definitely. I appreciate that. I really do. It's like another... <laughs> another screenshot thumbnail. Oh, here's Walter. Walter! How are you doing? Smell that? He's not bad. I kind of like him. Out of all of the other idiots. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Chasm bass. It's the smell of desperation, exploitation, and addiction. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Opportunity. Our opportunity. Oh yeah, yeah, I we missed need that. To stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. A Stroud. Authorization procedures. The large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Okay. Stroud Ekman headquarters. Neon City. Yo. Check it out. Endo Fresh. Cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than the effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. The Aurora. Is that a drug or something? So, what was the plan? Smuggle the Aurora into Kiel City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, is all. Honest mistake, right? You forgot you were carrying. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Moving. Let's go. <laughs> what you do, bro? Speak to Nashar. All right, let's no see. Funny business, okay? Sophie. New around here? Hmm. Make certain you familiarize yourself with our rules and regulations regarding the transport of Aurora. After what is all, that? You don't want to end up like Nashar. Dude, That's probably dude. drugs or something. I'm not new here at all. I grew up in the alleys of Epside. Epsi to have been off world for a while, so let me mm, refresh your a little mind. bit. First and foremost, the interplanetary transport of Aurora is strictly forbidden. Any Sophie doesn't remember me. Transporting the substance through this checkpoint will be arrested, fined, and jailed if necessary. <laughs> but I use it for medical On purposes. My list of excuses for attempting to transport Aurora <laughs> that ranks a close third to I forgot that I had any on me and I am holding it for a friend. <laughs> the other regulation you should be aware of is that Aurora is only available for purchase in the Astral Lounge. Buying it from okay. any other business or a street dealer is illegal. 
So it's a monopoly, huh? Bullshit. I thought it's only sold in the Astro Lounge. Come on, if yeah. They do. Neon security will handle it. For your own safety, I urge you to avoid those locations entirely. All right, then. That's it. If you have any additional questions, let me know. Otherwise, keep your nose clean and move along. How did? Oh, yeah, let me see. How did a cam like Aurora became legal to buy and use Aurora in Neon? Aurora is the number one product produced by Zeno Fresh Fisheries. The company that originally founded what is now called Neon. Clinical studies sponsored by Xenofresh have proven that using Aurora has no long-term negative health effects, and so it was approved for public use. And before you ask, yes, this was also approved by the Freestar Collective. As long mm. as Aurora stays within the city limits. <laughs> How'd you end up getting stuck with this lousy guard lousy? posting? hell are you talking about outside of working the astral lounge this is one of the most secure jobs you can get do you have any idea how many people get turned away from neon security how about half the damn platform no i'm one of the lucky ones spend some time in Epsi and you'll see what I mean. that's how they get you all right whatever if you say so all right, come on. Come on, guys. Activate neon. Wow. Our products, your life, one dream. Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today for our future. Damn. Submit your application now with the nearest. It's like the first. Well, no, I guess we did see the other city, Alpha Centauri. And then we saw the city below Alpha Century. Was it Alpha Century? No, it's that's the constellation or the planet. I don't know. Reliant Medical. The Volai Hotel. Damn, there's a disco. A club. Neon Security. Kelcor, she's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. <laughs> Citizen. Clover. I do not know about the Astral Lounge. I'm starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a slightly inflated view of himself. Yeah? How do you know? Galbank. Interesting. I'm like just looking around. It's like my first time in Cyberpunk. Trade Tower. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. The Astral Lounge. The signs? No, we 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 got work. We're working. Activate Stroud Eklund. Walter is very proud of his business, and he should mm -hmm. be. His ships are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Oscar. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Isa. The luxury cruise line market is completely outside <laughs> of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute. A mistake... Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am hey, arguing with my partner. <laughs> Isa. And you're just standing right here. Isa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Right. I know who you are. And how many people work for you next to nothing? Don't want to be rude to her. I don't know. It's the corporate ladder. Charmed, Miss Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. We're here for Constellation Business. 
You're Walter's wife? Is she? Ooh. You're Walter's wife? Co CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune. And somewhere down there, I'm his wife, yes. Mm. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. <laughs> oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Okay. Charmed, Miss Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, I am. wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from mm. Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers. My partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> got a war. You should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I'm 100% behind embarrassing Walter. I know. It's <laughs> Yeah. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Oh. What? This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only mm -hmm. after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Yeah, we'll do that. The Astro Lounge, public place, a lot of security exactly. holes. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork if he's overlooked something so obvious. That mm. was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few mm. bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no. So I'm off to do all the work while you two stay I here? I hate being selfish. But I would like some time with my husband. What? We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. It's the least of my worries. My worries is that you do your part. And not just fuck around with your wife. Hmm. I don't like this. Oh, I missed you. I missed you too. If you're wondering you're what that smell is, tense. it's normally once we're neon. Alone, your shoulders relax. All right. They're taut. Damn it. Come on, Andre. Gotta work. <laughs> I gotta do all these fetch quests for them. Instead of having some fun. Let's go to this Newell asshole. Shut up! I am working. The heck are they? Who's this? Newell's goods. For supplies, this is the place. Ooh. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. All right, whatever. We'll start from the beginning. Sounds like you have a problem with oh, Sieghart's place. Problem with his place. My problem his place. is Sieghart himself. That man has Seer. absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. For all you know, he doesn't Everyone have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, okay. Sorry. 
I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, you set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Information Let's say you did. Usually free. <laughs> you got a lot of fragile objects in this shop. Be a shame if something happened Try to them. It. I'm all paid up with the right people. I don't think he cares. Yeah, you already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. We're not paying twice. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. That went well. I've had enough. Discovery. Seagard's gone too far this time. And accessories. Whatever. Epside. Hmm. All right. Let's see what where's where we're supposed to go. Upstairs. Where did I come from? <laughs> I just got lost. Wow. Wow. What the heck is this? Fishmonger. Bayou Plaza. Not sure. The, mm, oh, yeah, it's here. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. There you go. Alright, let's see. Computer. Starware. Personnel correspondence. Alright, you might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gamefully employed, but what's the harm in the little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. A friend. Correspondence 2. To Mosgrove. I'm not joking, friend. I expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Correspondence 3. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. As, uh, assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you, friend. Your friend. Okay. I have things I wish to discuss. You? What do you want? Yes, you need me. Tell me. You are back. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Yes. The fact that it has happened to we already talked about this, and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That okay. What I had done. It was either you or was, him. We yes. talked about this. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Well, okay, well, I'll be legitimate with her. I, I, was, a I was a miner at Argos, Argos. Extractors. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with risk. We both seem to be okay. unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that sure. Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while mm. since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want ah. it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? 
that's fine. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. I guess that's it. I guess we hadn't finished the uh, whole dialogue tree for her. I guess I, that's I've been doing that with a few others. I've just been fucking around. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Let's see what what's going on in the astral lounge for real this time. Let's check it out. 